Hi guys, welcome back to another Aldi haul here on my channel and this week I thought I'd do it slightly different and show you what I get for the kids to eat and what I get for us to eat. I have two toddlers, James who is three and Isabella who is one and James can be quite a fussy eater. We had a huge battle to get him to eat home cooked foods for almost two years or over two years and now we can get him to eat spag ball that we make at home but if you have a fussy eater you'll understand how much of a relief and how much of a breakthrough that is and so he eats that pretty much every week a few times a week and a few other things as well but not much else so I was kind of I really wanted to get other things to try to see if you take different things if you'll accept different types of food and I went to Aldi with the purpose of finding similar things to what he likes but slightly different if you know what I mean. I also thought I'd show you the vegetables that we get to feed the children because I'm not one of those mums who can make like vegetables taste delicious. I can just about cook vegetables the way that they're supposed to be cooked. So I'll show you the ones that my kids usually eat. If you can hear noise, the kids are playing out in the garden and the doors are open so I can hear every noise. So let me show you what I got. So I'm going to start with the kids stuff and the vegetables. So I got this frozen pack of petit pois and I find that these are slightly sweeter than just normal regular peas and some frozen sweet corn as well. So I know my kids will definitely eat sweet corn and carrots but I'm going to try them on petit pois now and see if they take it. And these are the carrots that we get them and I just find them really easy to cook because you can microwave them as well and you can cut them in small bits for young toddlers who don't have that many teeth yet. And this here, this is actually not for the kids, this is for us. So we got chicken breast fillets for a curry. Um, I got this to try the kids on salmon. So these are two salmon fish cakes and they looked really good because my kids will eat like chicken nuggets and stuff. And I thought maybe I could trick them into eating salmon fish cakes because they definitely need more fish in their diet. This is what I use to cook their spaghetti bolognese. So I use the 5% fat lean beef mince. And I always get 5% fat because it's the healthiest that I can get for them. And over here we have some baby plum tomatoes, which I like to give to them for lunch. And they also have cucumber on, uh, at lunchtime. Stones. Pardon? Stones. stones. You're playing outside with stones. Oh, thank you very much. Bye, Bella. <laughs> Right, so back to the haul. I got these little cheese and tomato pizzas and I got three of them because I can freeze them. And these are just very quick lunch or dinner options for when we've been out all day and I just want something quick for them to eat. And I got this pasta, which is, I think, Fuzili, Fuzili, I don't know how to say that, but you know what I mean, you know, the curly pasta. I usually buy pen or penny pasta, uh, but I thought I'd try this one and see if they like it. And I got this new pasta sauce. Usually I just get the normal bolognese sauce, but I saw this one and it said chunky vegetables, and I'm always trying to get more vegetable into their diet. And this one says that it has pepper, courgette, and onion. So that's more than I would normally get in their food. So hopefully they'll enjoy that. And then over here, I've got some mini savory eggs. Now these are just for snacking mostly or for a very quick picky dinner, which they like having. And then over here, I've got nappy. So I got two packs of the size five nappy pants and I have been loving these. I got these for the first time last week and loved it. So I'm, I'm converted to them now. Um, then I've got these. These are for snacking and this is the dip it um, cheese dips with crackers. The kids absolutely love this. So I can only show it to them after they've finished their dinner because otherwise that's all that they will eat. And this is the cheese that I use to cut into like little cheese squares for them um, with their lunch or dinner. Someone asked on my Instagram what kind of cheese I give to them and it's just medium cheddar cheese that I give. Um, for fruit, I've got raspberries and some strawberries. And then for snacking, I've got the carrot snacks from Mamiya. I've got tomato wheels and this one has been open because they've been eating. This is the organic. Um, cheese and herb puffs and then I've got some little delights yogurts I've got loads of them in the fridge which is why I only got one pack and that is it for the kids food 
for this week and hopefully they will take to the new things now for our stuff from mine and matthew's food we got the hunter's chicken which we absolutely loved having again last week so we got it this time um the old favorite chicken with cheese and leek return um we've got the duck what's it called crispy aromatic half duck with pancakes we never tend to eat the pancakes we just like the duck mediterranean style vegetables we've got pork belly slices um, and then we have vegetable medley we like this because this can be microwavable as well so it's quite easy to cook and then a couple of meals the tuscan sausage tortiglioni bake i'm not sure if that's how you say it and the lasagna these are great they come in this little wooden crate which you put straight in the oven and we love these meals um, we usually get as well meatballs that, that they do in the same um, line but for the last couple of weeks the meatballs have gone off before the date which is weird like they were full of mold and that was really strange so we stopped getting the meatballs now we've got two garlic baguettes that's to go with one of the meals and then over here we have one of the carlo stone baked uh, chicken and chorizo pizza for the first time i'm getting the white bloomer bread i saw my friend sarah from this mama life getting this and she said it was amazing so i thought i'd get it and try and then i got these bacon and cheese straws i mean this was more for snacking but can you see this is totally in date still and can you see how puffed up it is like the it's almost as if it's full of air it's really puffed up so i'm not sure we're gonna eat this then we have here watercress and spinach and rocket for like light lunches and salads i got popcorn i don't know why i just saw it and i really wanted it i got this chocolate chunks cookies i'm not a sweet kind of cookie person but my husband likes them so i got them for him and then over here i just have oh it's gone really light i just have a few random bits and bobs so i got some paracetamol that we needed and then i got this little handy grater um and i got it because we have a big grater but i find it such a faff so i thought i'd get this one to try and it wasn't too expensive i got some sanitary towels because you know i need them <laughs> i got a pack of three muslin cloths and i just liked the print isabella my daughter is now 15 months old but i still use muslins for her so we'll never have too many and then audi is now doing a, a series of like wedding stuff and I saw these pillowcases that says Mr. and Mrs. I thought I'd get them. They had loads of like bride and groom stuff, which was really, really cute. And then last but not least, I got this bath memory foam bath mat. And this it's in this nice kind of millennial blush pink color. And I just really liked it. It's really soft and foamy and it wasn't too expensive. So that is everything that I got for us and for the children this week. And this is the total of how much we spent. And I think that's a much more reasonable amount than my previous Aldi haul, which we spent about 70 pounds and got half the stuff that we got now. At least 80 pounds seems more reasonable for the amount of meals that we got. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just show you the bits that I'm more excited to try this week. So obviously the white bloomer bread, it looks delicious. I wanna have it now. <laughs> Um, I'm excited for the kids to try the salmon fish cakes and see if they will like it because if they do it's great because I know they're getting their fish in their diet and that's definitely something that's missing. I'm excited to try my little grater. I don't know why I just thought oh this would be so great for grating. <laughs> and yeah oh also I'm excited to try the chunky vegetable pasta sauce. I hope you enjoyed this week's Aldi haul with a slight twist showing you more specifically what we get for our family. And if you have fussy eaters or just young toddlers, then please do share it in the comments below if there's anything from Aldi or other supermarkets that you get that you find that your children absolutely love. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll leave a playlist of all my Aldi hauls below in case you're interested, not just Aldi, but all my like food Food shopping grocery hauls and I think we've got Isabella coming pardon oh you're soaking wet why are you so wet <laughs> Isabella's come to say goodbye can you say goodbye bye say, can you say subscribe <laughs> can you say bye
<laughs> Bye.